Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree. If you are new here, and in today's video, I want to do a little pride makeup look. And I feel like every year that I've done like a pride inspired makeup look or, you know, talked about pride or whatever, and I've done makeup in that video, so I therefore done pride makeup, I have always done like the traditional rainbow. And I'm bi. So I figured this year I would do a little bi color, bi flag inspired makeup look. So if you guys want to hang out while I do a little queer makeup, then just keep on watching. For today's makeup look, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Culture Palette just because it has the most perfect pink, purple, and blue to be able to do this makeup look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with this really teeny, tiny little Sigma smudger brush, the E21. And I'm gonna start out with my outer corners. So I'm gonna go into this blue shade right here. And I'm just gonna basically use this to map out how I'm gonna have this makeup look look. And then I will go back in with other brushes to kind of blend it out and make it perfect. Just for the sake of evenness, I'm gonna go back and forth between each eye while I'm doing this so that I can do my very best to make sure I get everything in the right the same angles. So I am taking this up a little bit higher than the edge of my outer corner, just because I am gonna put on a wing. So that way, this part of the blue is still visible, even with a wing there. Unless I fuck this whole thing up like I did yesterday and just accidentally make the wing like 87 times too big. Please don't move those paper towels. Okay, so now that I have these kinds of like starts of wings, I'm actually gonna take, do I have them up in the same, yes. From the corner, I'm gonna start to carve this up onto my lid and I'm gonna stop right about at the edge of my iris. This is literally the hardest part is making sure that these go up at the same <laughs> height. I'm not too worried about what's happening on my lid space because I can always go back in with my eye primer and just clean it up. I just want to make sure that the top edges are going to be blended and that they're as symmetrical as I can get them to be. And then I'm literally just going to wipe this brush off and I'm going to go into this purple shade right here. Same thing. I'm still just kind of mapping where I want everything to be. And I'm going to put this purple right next to the blue. I feel like the buy flag has the colors in a different order but I'm gonna be so honest with you it's so much easier to blend I mean what happens when you blend together blue and pink you make purple so of course I'm gonna put the purple in the middle otherwise I'm gonna end up with unintentional purple in the middle regardless and then same thing wiping this brush off I'm gonna go into the pink shade right here and I'm gonna take this down pretty far. Next up, I'm gonna take a small, little tiny blending brush. And starting with the blue again, I'm just gonna work on softening these outer edges. And even though I said I'm, you know, obviously not too concerned with what's happening in the open space because I can clean it up. I'm still trying to mitigate a bunch of product falling down there. And I'm taking this blue just a little bit past into the purple side. Just that way I can blend them together nicely. Same thing, wiping this brush off, dipping into the purple, and pretty much doing the same thing. I'm just running this over this line as well as back into the blue a little bit and a little bit over into the pink. I have no idea what just happened right here. Oh, and then I got the opposite problem on the other side. That's fun. Same thing, one more time. Wiping that brush off, dipping into the pink and making sure to blend this back into the purple as well. And then really quick what I'm gonna do is I just wiped this brush off again just because I need it to 
be a small brush to do this, but I'm gonna do my little magic eraser trick with my powder foundation. And I'm just gonna run this over the very top. And this is just going to really soften out that blend. I feel like this is always one of those makeup types of makeup styles or like eyeshadow application styles that always looks a little bit funny until everything is all done. So this side's a little bit more pointed and this side's a little bit more round on the outer edge. I'm not worried about that right now. I'll kind of address that as I clean everything up later. I'm gonna dip a little bit into this blue again because I feel like I kind of over compensated on that side just a little bit. It could also just be because my eyes are two different shapes so that's why it's looking like these are two different shapes. <laughs> I'm just kind of going in with the different colors and just kind of perfecting everything. And then I'm gonna take a really thin little brush and pick up just the tiniest amount of my eyeshadow primer. Like literally, you can't even see that on the brush. And I'm just going to clean up just a little bit. I don't need it too much, but I can, like barely tell the difference. And then I'm gonna take the Stila Glisten and Glow Liquid Shadow in the shade Ocean and blend this out and sheer it out over my lids. This is definitely more of a like actually wear to like a pride party or pride parade rather than, you know, just like a day to day. So doing the same thing on the other side and then I'm gonna kind of decide if I want to build it up or not. Because when you blend this shadow out, it does sheer out quite a bit, but I kind of like it a little bit more. I think I might build it up just a little bit more in the center. And also if you're like not super comfortable doing cut creases, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not. I just wanted to do something a little bit different and fun. You could also do very similar to this as a halo eye. Put the pink in the middle, blue on the outer corner, blend it together with the purple, and do like something shimmery in the open space of the halo. But again, I wanted to do something different. I feel like I do like halos and like blends and stuff like that all the time, and I just wanted to like shake it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go put on a wing. Hopefully not fuck it up today. Uh, clean up underneath my eyes, put on my base, and I will be right back. That was so weird. I have no, I decided to use my NARS Light Illusion foundation, which is like definitely too yellow for me, but I've been like putting on like a gradual tanner, so the rest of my skin is warming up just a little bit. And I was like, let me see how this works, especially with uh, a powder foundation that I have that is cooler, so it kind of cancels it out. And I was like, I haven't used this foundation in a really long time, let me use it for once. But. I like went to go blend it out on my forehead with my sponge and it just like balled up and peeled up. I don't know if it was just like, which wouldn't even make sense that it was like an interaction with the products that I had because, no, that's a lie. The only thing I had different, um, I, I did put some fucking uh, e.l.f. halo glow on my forehead. So maybe it just, maybe those two don't agree with each other, but that's so strange. Regardless, I had to like literally take a makeup wipe and wipe off my entire forehead. I tried to like bounce over it with more product and I tried to like blend it out with my fingers and nothing would work. So I literally had to wipe off my forehead and I just like sprayed a little bit of primer water on it and just like put the foundation directly on my skin with no primer or anything. Cause I was like, this is so strange. I've never experienced that before. Which I mean, if two, if two products in my collection don't work well together, that's not that big of a deal. I can not use them together, but that's still so strange. But also just like my cheeks look fine. I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in light to kind of bronze up my skin a little bit. And I'm gonna clean up these outer edges out here once I have my face fully set. I'm just not trying to blend powders on especially like blues <laughs> on top of unset skin. I'm gonna go in with the LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in Kindness. Even though this is like inherently a cooler toned makeup look, I still just lean peach. This is kind of like a chill peach, so. Okay, next up I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place Bronze Duo in Light. Kinda have to go with this shade down here now because, well, the other one's a little used up. 
I have also been, once again, changing how I do my makeup. Uh, so rather than setting down my cream blush, which I mean this one's light enough that I could probably get away with it But rather than setting down my cream blush I'm gonna go set down the rest of my face and then I will put a little bit of blush on top of The very light amount of setting that I'm gonna put down. I just I've been noticing that my blush has been looking a little too blushed lately So I'm trying to mitigate that just a little bit So I'm gonna go do all of that and I will be right back so as you can see the blush is still like barely visible which is how i want it i'm gonna go in with the elf primer infused blush in always cheeky build back a little bit of that pigment but i don't i'm just trying to tone it down a little bit i mean obviously for you know a pride parade or something like that like now is the time to go all out but i've just been recently looking back at like um thumbnails specifically for videos that I've done and been like god damn that's a, that's a little much because I still do really love blush I'm gonna go in with the essence pure nude baked blush this one's shimmering rose which is definitely not peach obviously but I didn't want to go like full peach and just kind of keep it really toned down but still a little bit warm this blush is super sheer it's more glowy than anything so it still complements nicely. Okay, I'm gonna grab my two little brushes again and just working with the blue, kind of touch this area up out here. I know it's kind of counterintuitive to do this with this little teeny tiny brush, but it's gonna help me create a little bit more depth than the fluffy one will. And then I'm actually gonna take that really dark purple right here and run this underneath my lower lash line. And then same brush once more. I'm gonna take just a little bit of that pink and just finish out my lower lash line. And then I'll go in and blend everything. I just felt like the purple wasn't super represented on the top, so I wanted to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a moment on the bottom, you know? I'm going to take my little teeny tiny brush and I'm going to start out with the blue and just barely pick any up just to kind of blend right out here, right where I just kind of use that smudge brush. And then I'm going to actually go back into the original purple to blend out the darker purple. But I don't want to smudge this down too far. And then last but not least, I'm actually going to dip into this lighter pink down here for my lower lash line. Again, that way it's not too harsh. And then last but not least, it's time for a little bit of highlight. And I'm going to use the Milani Baked Highlight in Dolce Perla. Simply because it's going to complement both the cooler tones on my eyes as well as the slightly warm tone on my cheeks. This is just like the most perfect neutral highlight on me and if there was ever a time to go all out with highlight now is the time i skipped my normal like uh like sheer glowy powder that i sometimes will put on like the center of my forehead and like on the apples of my cheeks for no real reason to be honest with you but in the same breath kind of like uh if I were to be wearing this to like an actual pride party, I would want, or matte in a lot of places, so that as my skin kind of, you know, got a little bit more oily throughout the day, it wouldn't be too shiny. So that is going to wrap up the majority of the look. I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back. So this is the final look. I love the way that it turned out. I like that it's just like different than I've done for other pride makeup looks so happy pride month and that's gonna wrap up today's video comment down below and let me know how you are celebrating pride this year i would love to hear all about it please subscribe if you have not already it would mean the world to me like this video ring the bell do all the things i hope you guys have an awesome awesome day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>